Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the programming Gizus. We'll continue the Xamarin Android series of tutorials today. We're going to start pagination, how to page data right here in of course Xamarin. Okay. Our first adapter is going to be grid view right here. We're going to use uh, the type of pagination we're using today is the next previous type of pagination. Okay, we shall be generating our data dynamically. Now you can see this is our grid view right here. This is our page one. You can see we have number one to number ten right here in the page one. Take note that the previous button is disabled. We can click next. It moves us to the next page, eleven to twenty right here to number twenty. Right here, the previous button of course has got and uh, itself enabled. Then we can move. Okay. Then of course twenty one to thirty. Then, uh, if we move forward, we're going to move to thirty to thirty, thirty to forty, thirty one to forty okay then of course from 41 to 50 right here then of course our last page now our last page has only two items of course number 51 and number 52 right in our grid view and of course take note right here our next now is now disabled so we can move forward we can move uh, backwards right here okay this is the pagination we're going to use we are as a starter, we are simply going to generate the data that we are using, okay? The important thing is that we see how we can page our data is actually a simple array list that we are going to be paging. So, this is it. Join me, we we'll get started. So, guys, the very first thing, right here we are going to head to our website. This is a, a lesson that we are covering. We already have it also in the text format. Let's come for the guidance uh, right here. Now, Xamarin Android Grid View next previous pagination all right then you can see we already have uh, this is the qu questions we're going to be attempting to answer in the class how to page data or paginate data because we're looking at the marine android pagination the next previous type of pagination of course our language is c sharp right here the platform is Xamarin. we're simply paginating a simple array list okay first we're going to have in fact two classes the main activity class right here we're going to look at it in visual studio also going to look at the paginator class right here that's going to be responsible for paging our data then of course we have our list array list here's the whole source code the whole source code of course is right here we've pasted everything here this is the result we're going to get if you prefer to download the source code of course uh, just head right here you can download it and then of course import it to a visual studio all right so please come right here download the project import it to a visual studio so the first thing we're going to do go ahead create your project all right in fact you can just import the project uh download it and import it if you're starting from a fresh just come right here create a blank app then click ok it's going to create for us our project okay we said we're going to have two classes paginator class which is going to be responsible for our pagination as well as our layout which is essentially right here main.xml of course we have it located right here in our resources okay so if we jump right here to our main.xml we're going to be able to explore our layout first let's start right here with our paginator class okay we said this is the class that's going to be responsible for paging our data it's a very simple class you can see first you are specifying a couple of constants right here we're going to have the total number of items 52 items okay items per page we're going to have 10 items per page then of course items remaining is going to be total number of items modulus items per page right so then of course our last page we're going to have total number of items uh by divide by items per page right here is going to give us our last page so those are constants we have them right there then we have just a sing a simple method called generate page we said we shall be generating our data dynamically this particular method right here of course is going to take an integer representing the current page okay this integer right here current page we're going to be incrementing it or decrementing it in our main activity for now this class this method is going to return for us because it's public is going to return for us an array so first we calculate our start item okay of course start item is going to depend on the page so it's going to be current page by items per page plus one then of course uh, uh we're going to have right here 
number of data right here which of course is going to be items per page now we come a released page data that is of course uh, our data in a particular page equal to new array list we simply insert an array list then we come check if current page equal to last page and items remaining is greater than zero if that's the case then what are you going to do well we're going to loop right here starting from the start item okay and then uh plus items remaining then we're going to be adding in fact we're generating this and uh, simply generating of course our data page data dot add a number plus i were just ge generating data per page right here else we come right here start item plus num of data then of course we add it uh, right there then of course at the end of the day we're going to return this array list which is going to represent for us data in a particular page now if you come to our main activity right here first we we'll go ahead declare a couple of views right here we have our grid view as well as our button widgets then of course we instantiate our paginator class of course we create these total pages integer is going to be paginator dot total number of items divided by paginator dot items per page this is going to represent the total pages we're going to have okay for instance if we're having 52 items then of course as our total number of items then items per page we're having right here 10 then that means 52 uh divide by 10 we're going to have five right there's the total number of pages now current page by default we're going to set it to zero so on create called when activity is created first we initialize views right here to initialize our views come right here gv find view by id resource.id.gv gv of course our grid view we do the same with the previous and next button by default we're going to set our previous button to be disabled okay so prev button dot enabled equal to false uh, right there then of course we're going to handle their item clicks so if next button is clicked and previous button is clicked for instance if it is previous button is clicked what are you going to do well first we're going to decrement uh, right here we're first going to decrement of course uh, our current page by one right if you click the previous button then we set our adapter gv dot adapter new array adapter this which is the context then we pass in simple list item one as our layout p dot generate page we pass the current page is going to know how to generate page then of course we call the toggle buttons which is going to toggle the buttons appropriately okay either enabling or disabling the buttons next if the next is clicked we are simply going to increment the current page by one okay then we come to the toggle buttons method so what we do here is simple first we check if current page equal to total pages for instance if of course total pages is five if current page is page five then what are you going to do next button dot enable equal to false all right if we reach the last page we are disabling the next button but making sure that the previous button is enabled otherwise if current page is page zero that is the first time we run the app of course before uh the page is generated is going to be page zero right here what are you going to do previous button we're going to disable it while next button we make sure it's enabled okay otherwise if current page is greater than or equal to one and current page is less than or equal to five we're going to make sure that of course next button and previous button is enabled all right that is uh so that the user can navigate between the next and previous then of course we simply come bind our data right here generate page that's it guys that's it that's uh our stuff right there of course for our layout we have it right here we have the full source code right here you can just come right here download the full source code we also can also browse oh, this is the whole source code that we're having you can see uh, we have of course our linear layout then we have our grid view then the two buttons in a linear layout whose orientation is horizontal does it case does it does it make sure you come right here you find the source code okay subscribe like the video share it and stay tuned because we're going to be doing more xamarin android tutorials so of course if we run our project right here this is what we're getting 
you can see we can page next previous of course our first page we can move up to the last page okay the last page is this one right here we can also navigate uh, backwards right here okay this is this is what we've looked at the source code is right here you know site so please we're leaving the link below go ahead download it and then of course uh, upload it does it take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial